Hi there. I have got Jenny here. Uh, the Jenny video that I just did a couple of days ago, the one I wore first, the one that's my own in 12FS8, I mentioned that it needed to be washed and this is Jenny washed and the way I had it hanging in the shower. So it is dry, but because I do a nice coating of the leave-in, the spray-on conditioner that you leave in, coats the fibers and uh, if you haven't washed a wig before, if you're new to it, when you wash your wig and you put that on it, and with these ones I leave it hanging, um, it is still going to look wet when you first see it, but when you shake it out, it will look dry. This is something I got. It's a hat display clip that I was able to get at Value Village. They let me buy a couple of these off of them. So this I love for drying my wigs in the shower. Now Jenny, I cut the tags off, so rather than try to grab onto that little bit that was left, I just looped looped the hook in through the bottom weft and hung it up like this. And you can do the same thing with uh, a hanger. What I like about this is there's no bar coming out to sort of, I don't know, it'll be fine anyway, but let's just see here. Give it a bit of a shake. Don't know where I put my comb. There it is. And now it doesn't look so wet, right? Plus it's got that coating that's going to help protect the fibers and keep them, keep the movement so that it's I can't comb and talk at the same time. I can't think of what I'm trying to say. Uh, yeah, it's just the fibers are protected, which gives, adds to longevity of your wig. Uh, the friction when the fibers rub against themselves, especially the longer the fibers get and they move around, then that uh, just sort of, well, when the fibers rub against itself, it loses that smoothness, and then they start catching on themselves. And then instead of being able to drop a few fibers at a time, you'll pick that up and it all just falls like one no matter what you do. But this has been mine for more than a year. Washed it a few times, uh, worn inter intermittently uh, along with uh, Natalie and Hayden. So let me just get my, get this on. Ugh, I look under, I look all, I don't have makeup on today, pardon me. Um, but I wanted to show this. And uh, well, I'll just put it on now. Hang on one second. And there it is, just washed, washed, shaken, and tossed on. No styling at all. And the hairspray that I had in it before is out of it now. Hmm. I don't think it is. Well, that's interesting. I guess, you know, this is probably because I was just going to say you want to brush the hairspray out and it, it's the John Renault hairspray, it's wig, shape, wig spray that I used in it and put on and I'd, it had a little bit in there and I forgot to brush out the wig before I soaked it and I, I did try to, you know, not really scrub it or anything but just try to pay attention to it and really shimmy it around in the water but uh, okay, let that be a lesson to all of us. I've still got some of the shampoo in there and it's because I did not brush it out before before washing. Sorry, not shampoo, wig spray I've still got in there. So, hmm. Alright, so this is the start of a fail video. Uh, maybe, <laughs> I don't know. Oh, I figure it's always good to learn something. So if it could be from my mistake and then you don't have to learn from your own mistake, then that's just as good. So, actually I'm happy with the way the bangs are falling on it right now. But now, dare I add more hairspray? Let me get some hairspray. See, I find this is a little bit dark for me against my skin. I do prefer uh, shaded uh, peaches and cream with the 10 root. Uh, even though this is fairly close to my own hair color, it just 
is a bit stark against my pale skin. But hang on, I'm going to get some hairspray and just show what I do. I'm going to try to show what I do to get the bangs up and over the way I like to wear them. I'm just going to fiddle around with this and if it works I'll share it with you and if it doesn't you're never going to know what happened. Maybe. So this is the uh, John Renault hairspray holding spray. I don't have this taped down onto my head. This is not exactly how I want it, but because the hairspray stays wet for a little bit, I will leave it like this. To just sort of train it. I'm just going to wait for a minute or two. We're back. Uh, yeah, it's pretty much dry. It's just been a couple minutes. Long enough for me to go into the next room and put on my Betty Flintstone. No, Wilma Flintstone necklace. Blue. And Lucy wanted to say hi. God, isn't she cute? Horrible, horrible breath, but she's adorable. All right, down you go. All right, so if you wanted your bangs to stay like this, what I did there, just with the spray, what you saw, a few shots of it, that's good. Now, I'd like that forward a bit more. To soften up a bit so I'm not all forehead all the time because I'm already self-conscious enough about that. And because I always stick it behind my ears. Well, I can... Yeah. This blended better when I was wearing it more often last year. I had still highlights running through my hair from from being a bio hair girl. But there you go. That's about all I would do to it. I would just spray the bangs up and then pull them forward a bit more to soften them up a little bit and maybe do a little more hairspray. You get little danglies moving around. I kind of like that. If you don't, spray them harder. Just uh, not sure what's going on around here. So many times when I'm watching my videos back, I'll see this big hunk of wig hair here or my own hair, and I kind of disregard it because in my mind I know, well, I wouldn't do that if I was going out in public, but I don't say anything. And I'm sorry if you all watch this and think that I'd be wearing it out like that. I've got to smarten up about that a little bit, not be so darn lazy. Also, it's further away and harder for me to see, so some of this I don't actually see as well as when I watch the video and find out what's sticking up, sticking out. much how I'd wear Jenny. 
open up. It took three and a half minutes just to show you this second part here. Um, yeah, and I don't know what it is, but having this longer hair here just makes me feel, I don't know, it just feels like prettier hair to me personally, just, just my preference. I feel like I'm closer to having longer hair with that, and yet I can still have a short pixie length cut that's nice and cool on my neck in the summer and easy to care for and yeah I might have to get my own sideburns trimmed or something there but so that's Jenny and I hope you're if I'm not replying to comments or messages or, or anything it's either a there are a couple of you that I don't get the reply option with your your messages and the most I can do is a thumbs up so I do that um, B, I'm not getting all my notifications, even though Carrie from A Good Sense of Smell did have a video with description. Uh, I'm putting a link to that in the description here. Um, I think it's because I use my iPad and there's different options that I just don't see the same way I would on a computer. Or, I don't, I don't know, I'm just not very bright with computers. So, that and uh, when it comes to messages, I didn't realize about the notifications and uh, with my email that's connected to my YouTube page I don't think to look at it very often so when I went there um, I discovered I had messages so I've just replied to a few people today I feel awful because some of them were or a couple weeks old but uh, um, anyway I know where to look I think now and if I've ever not replied to anything uh, it's only because I haven't seen it yet but thank you for watching, thank you for all the kind compliments, and I hope that something I show here, even if it's just how not to do things, because don't do what I do, unless you think it's worth doing, um, I hope it helps someone. Have a great one. Bye-bye.